Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video will serve as the ultimate holiday gift guide. I think there's something for everyone here, including yourself, if you're someone who struggles to build out your holiday wish list. I spend so much time carefully curating every single item on this list. So I really hope that you find it useful. I've broken up all of these items into sections by price point. So I'll start off with the $25 and under, and then I'll move on to $50 and under, $100 and under, $100 plus. And in the very last section, I made some ideas for experiences. So let's just get right into it. So the first section gives $25 and under, and these are so good. Okay, so the first thing that I found are these super cute puppy pillows, and I love that they're neutral tones, so they'll fit into anyone's home decor. For the music lovers out there, I found this really cool illustrated card deck with different artists and musicians on the cards. Like, such a good gift. I'm sure you guys have seen motivational water bottles everywhere. They're super trendy right now. If you want to support a woman-owned, Latinx-owned business, then you should definitely check out Drink Your Vibes. I think that these are the most aesthetically pleasing and stunning motivational water bottles. I have one myself and I highly recommend it. These smiley face slippers are super trendy right now and slippers are just always a safe option for gifts. I found this affirmation card deck and I actually already purchased this for one of my friends for her birthday and I might honestly stock up and just gift these to a lot more of my friends. I think it's such a good gift and super affordable. If you guys are familiar with the We're Not Really Strangers card game, I found a self-reflection edition which is only $15. You can never go wrong with Fenty gloss. I found these really cool whiskey glasses that have a rounded bottom so instead of having to swirl the whiskey in your hand, you can put it down on the table and spin it. I don't know, I just thought it was really cute and it's super affordable. For all the chefs out there, I found this herb infused avocado oil. Sunset lamps are super trendy right now. I've been seeing them all over Pinterest. I'm a graphic designer, so I'm really big on like product design and I really love the design of this journal. Mugs are one of my favorite things to gift for the holiday season. You can really make them personalized. Of course, find a mug that corresponds to the personality of the recipient. You can also pair it with their favorite beverage. I found this black owned business that has really cute eye and lip masks. I feel like these are just really good stocking stuffers or good for your loved ones who love traveling because masks are essential in a carry-on bag. I found this really beautiful yin yang gua sha. It'll just look so pretty on anyone's vanity or bathroom counter. Rechargeable lighters are always a cool gift and you can always pair them with a candle. Books are always a really good gift. My favorite book that I've read recently is called Atomic Habits. If you guys haven't read this, honestly, get one for your loved ones and get one for yourself. It's so good. Highly, highly, highly recommend that book. I found these really affordable Adidas leggings, really good for the fitness fanatics in your life, college students, honestly anyone. For someone who's tapping into their spirituality, I found this beginner's crystal set and you can get it on Etsy so you're supporting small businesses. I was on the Skims website and you know most of their stuff is more on the expensive side but I found these like teddy scrunchies and socks and you can get them to match each other. I found this Glossier duffel bag, it's only $20. Okay, we're moving on to the $50 and under section. So we're starting off with this Youth to the People skincare kit. Oh my gosh, you guys, they did an excellent job with the packaging. I just think it's so cool. And I stand by their products. They're really, really good. This Dior Attic lip oil is, there is so much hype and craze over this right now. I found some that weren't sold out. One of my favorite places to buy sweat sets is this brand called Girl Knows All. Actually, this sweatshirt is from there. But they have really cool graphic ones and I'll pop up some of my favorite designs that they just released. Going back to Skims, I've seen a lot of people raving about this set. A really good gift for all your cozy queens and these fluffy slippers are so cute. So the next thing that I want to talk about is this company, I don't know if it's pronounced Papier or Papier. So they have notebooks, wellness journals, gratitude journals recipe journals, and so many other types of products that you can personalize. Another journal that I found is by this company called Mad Happy. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. I saw that they had this journal and again, fell in love with this design. For your chest lover, I found this modern chest set and I just thought that it was super cute and aesthetically pleasing. Homesick candles. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the brand. They started off making candles reminiscent of different locations. Now they've expanded. Last time I checked, they had horoscope candles. So I think that's kind of fun. If you're looking to buy someone a new brush set, highly, highly, highly recommend 
getting this brand Juve. Basically, they're antimicrobial brushes and beauty blenders, and so they don't harbor bacteria literally has done wonders for my skin. Tote bags are always a way to go. I found this really cute one that says mindfulness. Baseball caps, super trendy right now. I found this Yankees one that's really cute. I love the color of it. This Glossier three-step skincare routine set is also a really good gift idea. So varsity jackets are really, really popular right now. They're everywhere, but sometimes they're expensive. I found this one from Boohoo and I actually own it. So I can say 100% the quality is amazing. Faux leather blazers. Oh my gosh. I found this one from Bershka. Okay, so this one is pretty cool. I've actually gifted someone this in the past. A24 has these handles that are inspired by movies genres so they have horror western thriller noir adventure musical sci-fi rom-com and fantasy check the website to get the descriptions on like what they smell like and stuff i personally got it for my friend who's a filmmaker and she loved it so moving on to all the items a hundred dollars and under okay so this one is also from a24 this one's very interesting <laughs> I was on their website just to pull the link for the candles and I came across this. It's a cookbook called Horror Caviar and I quote, feasts, delicacies, and drinks inspired by 29 horror movies. I looked at some of the pages that they provide for like previews of the, of the book and it's horrifying. So this is for people who are really about that horror lifestyle and who love to cook. This is just like chef's kiss, pun intended, I guess. Okay, so the next one I'm really excited about because I'm a perfume junkie but it's really hard to give people perfumes because you just don't know what people like it's so subjective sephora has this thing which i think is super cool you can buy a sampler discovery set and there's a voucher inside which can be exchanged for a full-size bottle of whichever fragrance they like out of the sample literally a genius idea there are a bunch of different ones i'm gonna link the one that i deem as the best curated set they also have a clean perfume sampler as well and that one has a lot of really good options in it as well the only caveat i guess with this is that you have to buy it in stores record players really cool for all the old souls out there a cure egg can't go wrong with a cure egg i found this really cute basketball planter that you can gift to all of your ballers. Going back to fragrances, like I said, they're really hard to gift. If you know someone has expensive taste in perfumes, but you don't wanna go out and spend money on Baccarat Rouge by 40, something that you can do is gift them other items within the collection. So for example, if you know someone likes Byredo, you can gift them the body wash and or the lotion. Both of these are a lot cheaper than the perfume. If you know someone who loves Selena, you can get them the Delina Hair Mist. As I mentioned, Baccarat Rouge. You can give them the body oil, which is way less expensive. I found this YSL ceramic coffee mug, which is super cute. If you know someone who's just bougie and loves coffee, this is a good gift. Another YSL find is actually from my friend's business. If you guys want to support a black owned business. She has a home decor and furniture company and she sells YSL coffee table books. She also has a Dior one. Okay, so I found these candles which are called Everlasting Candles and they basically never burn because they're not made of wax. I don't know the materials like metal or something, maybe stainless steel. You put them in a vase with this like liquid and then you light them and they're candles. The only thing about them is that I think they're fragrance free, which honestly might be a good thing as a gift because as I've mentioned, fragrance is subjective. If you know someone has AirPods already, you can get them this Palm Angels AirPod case. I'm sure you guys have heard of the Barefoot Dreams blanket. The throw itself is like $180, but I found slippers that are exactly the same material and design of the throw. They're only $68. Okay, so there's this brand called the Mayfair Group. They make super cool graphic sweats. They're usually really expensive, but right now they're 40% off. So I would cop them. Honestly, I might have to get one for myself. I love the messaging behind it. It's also a woman-owned company. The last one in this category is a sound bar. You can find them on Amazon. I actually have one right there. I've gifted so many people sound bars. It makes your TV sound cinematic. It also doubles as a Bluetooth speaker. So the next section, $100 
plus. So the first thing on this list is this pond mirror. I've been seeing these everywhere on Pinterest, on Instagram. I know that they can be kind of expensive. I found one that was reasonably priced. I believe this one's under $200. If you want to give someone designer, but you don't want to break the bank, you can always look into vintage or secondhand designer items. I always go through this company called The Real Real because they're authenticated designer items. You can find some really dope, one of a kind items on there and they're way more affordable than buying new season items. Another really great gift, these Comme des Garcons Converse. I actually have these and I love them. Okay, this blender I just purchased and I'm obsessed with it. It's always just sitting pretty on my kitchen counter and it actually works really well. It's called Beast. They have a couple different color options. Highly recommend. Uggs, you can never go wrong with Uggs. These are the ones that I've been seeing trending a lot this season. If you're not an Ugg person or the person you're shopping for is an Ugg person, then you can always go for the Fuzzy Birkenstocks. These are also super cute. Another really great gift option and something that's super trendy right now is Vivian Westwood jewelry. So I found these earrings that aren't super expensive. I pulled one for the silver girls. I pulled one for the gold girls. They're both super cute and they're like, I think 150, so not too expensive. Any Jacquemus bag. I'll put up some of the popular styles right now. A lot of them come in different colors. So also just check the website. Espresso makers, always a good gift for the coffee lovers. I love the design of the Smeg ones. They're pretty expensive, but so stunning. Also Nespresso has a lot of really great options. If you're looking to buy someone jewelry, you should really check out, I think the way to pronounce this brand is Majuri. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I'm really sorry if I butchered that. This brand is honestly a go-to brand if you just want some quality jewelry for someone. They also have a lot of customization options as well if you wanna go that route. AirPods Pro, always a good gift. I've been seeing these Nikes a lot lately. They're trending right now. I think they're super cute. Jordans, always a safe option for guys, girls, whoever. No one will be mad about receiving some Jordans. The last one on this list is the tote bag from Marc Jacobs. I have seen this bag everywhere lately. I even saw that they have like a teddy version. I'll post some photos here so you guys can see. There are so many different color options and they're just super cute. Okay, so the last section is experiences. If you're out at a holiday party, holiday event, whatever, and you realize that there's someone there that you missed on your list, whip out your phone, pull up a spa, and buy them a gift certificate, and then email it to them. Like, it's such a good last minute gift. You can also give someone a Manny Petty gift certificate. This one I think is such a good idea because it costs no money at all. If you have a lot of friends or coworkers or family members and you can't afford to buy people things, make them playlists. I think it's so thoughtful if you curate each playlist to what the person likes or what you think the person will like. You can even make the thumbnail of the playlist like a photo of you two. Plane tickets, book a flight. Concert tickets also really good if you know someone loves an artist, either for you to go with them or just get them like two concert tickets so they can take whoever they want. Same with sporting events. You know someone really loves a specific sports team, always a great gift. Okay, so the last kind of idea is subscriptions. I'll list a couple, but you can also just look it up and see what other things there are out there. You can give someone Spotify. I actually gifted my mom Spotify last year. Wink, it's like a wine subscription service. Scentbird, if you know someone loves fragrances, but you don't know what to get them, then you can gift them a Scentbird subscription and they'll get a new fragrance to try every month. And the last one that I found that I think is such a good idea, it's called Book of the Month. Every month they have, I think five books that they can choose from and you could get like six months for $90, which I think is a really good deal. That's like what, $15 a book. But what I love about the subscriptions is that you're not tethered to the account. Once you pay for that time slot, whether it be three months, six months, a year, whatever, you're not gonna be charged again. So that pretty much concludes the list. I know this video is 
probably going to be super long, but I hope that you guys found it useful. I'm pretty much going to be shopping from this list myself. Some of these may even end up being cheaper this week because of all of the sales that these companies are going to have. So definitely check them out, get them while they're on sale. If you guys are interested in me doing more videos like this, definitely let me know. I can do a video on small business gift ideas. I can do a video on gifts under $15 if that's something that you guys are interested in. So definitely let me know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.